When planning food plots for deer and turkey management, it is important to balance your food plots for year-round attraction and nutrition. There are generally three main categories for food plot types winter annuals, perennials, and summer annuals. Ensuring that one third of your food plot space is designated to each one of these three types of food plots will provide year round nutrition and attraction for deer and turkeys. What I mean by this is you do not want to disc up or kill one type of food plot to plant another one. You want there to be overlap in the spring and the fall with all of your food plots. This allows a minimum of two thirds of your food plots to be in production at any given time throughout the year without gaps in usage of your food plots on your property. For example, if you have the previous season's annuals and perennials established going into the next hunting season, you don't have to wait to hunt those openings. From a nutritional standpoint, the two times a year that are of most concern for deer are the late winter stress period and the late summer stress period. So if you only have food plots that are attractive during deer season and not have any plants to provide nutrition during these stress periods, your deer herd health can really be held back and not reach its full potential. For example, after deer season, native vegetation is often very limited. Bucks and does are recovering from the rut and bucks can lose up to 25 to 30 percent of their body weight. Also during this period, bucks are shedding their antlers sometimes as early as late January and is starting the process of growing a new set back. In the south, an even more stressful period for does is late summer. Her protein requirements go up eight times higher than normal when trying to produce milk for her fawns, the next generation of deer in your area. During this period, native vegetation is lower quality than it was in the spring, and any agriculture that may be in the area is starting to be harvested. There are more options now than ever when deciding on what to plant in your food plots. When considering which winter annuals to plant in the fall, you need to consider early season attraction, but also late season nutrition. Research in Mississippi has shown that a balance of wheat, oats, and crimson clover can provide this winter long balance of attraction and nutrition for most situations in Mississippi. Oats will often be most attractive earlier around youth season and the first gun season in November. Wheat will often be most attractive after this for the rest of the deer season. The annual clovers will provide a few different benefits. They are considered nitrogen fixers, so they will mitigate the amount of nitrogen that grains need in the soil. Also, they will provide spring attraction for turkeys as a direct food source and an area for high bugging activity. Some of the best perennials to plant in Mississippi are a variety of white clover mixed with chicory or a perennial red clover. These are considered cool season perennials and established best if planted in the fall. These perennial plants will often last three to five years and sometimes longer depending on how well they're maintained. These perennials will provide a great buffer in the spring and the fall when the next season of annuals are starting to be planted. Summer annuals will often be three to ten times more productive than perennials throughout the entire summer and early fall. Common summer annuals are soybeans or cowpeas, however, large acreage is needed to be planted and lower to moderate deer densities are needed in order to ensure that these food plots are going to make it all the way through the summer and into the fall. Other summer annuals such as American joint vetch, which can often be planted with another summer annual called Alice clover, are better candidates because they are more browse tolerant. American joint vetch can often be planted a month sooner than soybeans or cowpeas. It can be planted in smaller and more shaded areas and it's stimulated to branch with browsing. A couple more things to ensure successful food plots is to make sure you do soil tests on your food plots at least once every three years to get your liming and fertilizer recommendations and also pay attention to your planting depth. Large seeds like wheat, oats, cowpeas, and soybeans need to be covered with soil at about an inch depth whereas Smaller seeds like joint vetch or clovers need to be top sown to ensure that they don't get buried by more than a quarter inch of soil. For more food plot guidance and other wildlife management help, go to our webpage at mdwfp.com slash privatelands and request a free site visit with one of our biologists.